Hi there, this is Hoo-Ha Sports Day, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. What a weekend of great football results which actually stretched till Monday. Certainly we will talk about Spurs and we will recap the weekend that was in the Premier League with my 60 second rap. But first, let's give it up for the Malaysian under-23 squad after they bagged the gold medal in the 26 Southeast Asian Games in Indonesia. It was muted joy in Indonesia as the hosts went down again to our Malaysian boys, beating the host 5-4 in penalty kicks after the final was stretched to extra time, with the score tied at one all in front of almost 100,000 Indonesian supporters. But it was nothing less than subdued at many mama stalls around Malaysia. Watch this shop in Johor thanks to Mohan4851 on YouTube. Right, this is when individual missed their final kick and just wait for the sounds that's coming when Malaysia got the final kick. I am confident enough to say that our juniors showed composure and maturity beyond their age and were a class above their peers in Southeast Asia. Shabas and congratulations especially to coach Ong Kim Sui and his backroom staff. Despite the gold medal and all those bruising that they've picked up, it doesn't end there. The team left Jakarta late last night to return home and start preparations for the Olympic qualifiers against Syria tomorrow. Alright, time to move on to the Premier League and boy oh boy, guess who's in third? Uh, the last of the weekend's fixtures saw Aston Villa travelling to White Hart Lane. Spurs needed a minimum of two goals to move up in the standings and be just behind the two Manchester clubs. And they did it thanks to a brace from Emmanuel Adebayor. So let's look at some of the chatter on the official Spurs Facebook page. Although Olivia Pope says that it was a masterclass performance, which I agree, there were just too many missed opportunities that weren't converted. And bear in mind, both goals came in the first half. Nevertheless, Fonkwa Achu, God bless you, gives us a cool recap and sums up the tango we did around the Villa Boys. And this is my favourite from Darren Hunky Chunky Palmer. He found a way to put Spurs and his wife in the same sentence. Good going dude. And this is how they stacked up at the top. Is there any way of stopping City while well, United picked another 1-0 win at Swansea? Not convincing at all. Hey, Spurs is third. Newcastle still above the other big boys. And speaking of the big boys, Chelsea, Liverpool and Arsenal are all tied on 22 points for that Europa League spot. Who would have thought of ever saying that? Villa, Rangers and West Brom make up the top 10. So let's quickly wrap up the weekend that was in our 60 second wrap. Ready? Let's go. First up, Man City. Can anyone stop them? Even the side that took on Newcastle were good. But what or who was left on the bench was even better. While Neighbours United have dropped in form, they are still inking those ugly wins. Who cares if it's 1-0? It's the three points that matter. Chelsea seem to have serious problems. Could Andre Villas-Boas be experiencing some Russian pressure? After all, who's hitting is now in the shadows. Liverpool look to be playing better away from home. Should they just do that? The main issue with the Reds is that the players still don't look to have an understanding among themselves. Arsenal, in the meantime, look to be back, but are still heavily relying on one man, Robin Van Persie. What happens if he gets injured? But it's the other North London side that's grabbing headlines. And Spurs go third. And have West Brom, Bolton, Stoke and Sunderland before Chelsea at the start of the Christmas fixtures. What does the future hold for them? Only time will tell. But sadly, our 60 seconds are up. And that will be it for today. I'll be back tomorrow and we'll take a look at what the fans are talking about, especially the Chelsea fans. But for the time being, from the team and I, it's bye for now.